the ancient mysteries of the Dead Sea Scrolls may have finally been answered. The ancient biblical manuscripts known as the Dead Sea Scrolls have fascinated scholars for decades. These artifacts gave us new insights into the ancient world, but they also posed new mysteries that went unsolved for years. That is, until now. For decades, researchers and scholars debated about the scrolls' tumultuous origins. But new evidence suggests these significant documents and the ancient mysteries they hide within may not be what we suspected all along. The scrolls were first found inside an alcove in the Qumran Caves in the Judean Desert in the 1940s and dated back to almost 150 BC. But once they realized just what the scrolls contained, the experts were stunned. They contain some of the oldest known biblical documents ever found and for their age They were in amazing condition to this day. The discoveries brings people from all over to visit the Qumran caves Specifically people flock to the caves to see firsthand where some of the most historical astounding texts were found This gives them a glance at one of the world's oldest mysteries who wrote these darn things first scholars generally believed the Essenes a small sect of Jews who occupied the region near the Qumran caves penned these early documents. However, one man isn't buying this commonly held belief, and his theory could have a major impact. During a National Geographic program called Writing the Dead Sea Scrolls, an archaeologist named Robert Cargill said, Jews wrote the scrolls, but it may not have been just one specific group. It could have been groups of different Jews. Cargill's new research suggests that after the Roman siege on the Temple of Jerusalem around 70 AD, a separate group of authors fled from the burning temple and wrote their own contributions to the scrolls. However, not everyone buys into this theory. Many scholars think Cargill has his facts wrong, including a New York University professor named Lawrence Schiffman who felt Cargill's claims are going to be very disputed. He's not alone either. Another archaeologist and Catholic priest who supported the belief the scrolls were written solely by the Essenes was Roland de Vaux. In 1954, he led a team that studied the scrolls, concluding that all the writers lived solely in Qumran. One of the reasons for de Vaux's beliefs was the discovery of several pools the team believed to be Jewish ritual baths. The scrolls mentioned these local inventions, indicating a regional author. In fact, some of the scrolls contained other detailed guidelines for communal living, such as bathing and dining, that lined up with the ancient traditions and customs of the Essenes. However, an archaeologist named Yuval Pelig, who spent 16 years studying artifacts around Qumran, challenged long-held beliefs about who wrote the scrolls as well. This was all thanks to one specific item found on Mount Zion. It was a 2,000-year-old cup with an inscription that read, Lord, I have returned, on its side, in a code similar to the Dead Sea Scrolls. Pelling believed this could mean religious leaders from Jerusalem played a role in the scroll's writing. To make things even more interesting, there is another emerging theory that states the Essenes community was comprised of Jerusalem temple priests who exiled themselves because of unlawful kings. Once in exile, they wrote the scrolls. Although Robert Cargill's opinion might be unpopular, there are clearly those who agree with him. The discovery of ancient sewers beneath Jerusalem by archaeologist Ronnie Reich could indicate that, during the Roman siege, groups of Jews smuggled religious texts to various areas. Even further evidence the scrolls were written by various groups came from studying the jars the scrolls were found in. Scientists eventually concluded only half the vessels were local to Qumran. Even with this, however, not everyone's convinced, especially Lawrence Schiffman, saying, I don't buy it. The notion that someone brought a bunch of scrolls together from some other locations and deposited them in a cave is very, very unlikely. Still, Robert Cargill stands his ground. He agrees with Schiffman that these scrolls show a tremendous amount of congruence of ideology. However, it's difficult to explain some of the ideological diversity present within some of the scrolls. If, in fact, Robert Cargill's research is accurate, it would change everything scholars believed about the scrolls being the work of just the Essenes. They could very well be the uncovered treasures of Jews who escaped the Roman siege. Regardless of whether or not the Dead Sea Scrolls were the work of the Essenes, every archaeologist agrees that they provide a rare glimpse 
into first century Judaism. <laughs>